Welcome back to our Family Focus special. As we continue our reports, we're now going to focus on health. That's right. And it's obviously an important concern from the moment a child is born. And breastfeeding provides a multitude of benefits to the baby and mom. And sometimes a little fine-tuning is needed for this very natural process. And so I generally will grab my scale, which is a you know, hospital grade scale, so I know it's giving us accurate measurements. Of the Tess Johnson is making a house call. Hello, good morning, Hi, Maria. Hi. How are you? Hi. There's Noah. She's not a doctor, but she is providing a service to ensure two week old Noah gets off to a healthy start. And do you know which side you want to start this with? Side. Okay. Tess is a lactation consultant. She helps moms like Maria Provincio of Fresno fine tune what for many doesn't always come naturally breastfeeding their baby. This side doesn't hurt at all anymore. Okay, right? good. It's so that's a huge improvement because yeah, that was really painful before. Greater than 80 percent, let's say closer to 85 percent, I believe, that initiate breastfeeding. When they enter the hospital, they say, yes, I want to breastfeed my baby. And yet the success rate is still very low. In Fresno County, of the 85 percent who nurse their newborns at the hospital, fewer than 40 percent continue when they go home. But there are many reasons to bring those numbers up, including health benefits for infants and moms. The hormones actually that help us produce milk actually also help us bond with our children. So my, my, my hope in doing lactation consulting is to help moms and babies and their families reach whatever goal they want. For Maria, who nursed her first son, who's now three, the goal involves positional adjustments so she and baby Noah can nurse in comfort. And so we have her, you know, sometimes in the rocking chair, almost like reclining back a little bit and tucking his hips really close to her. Mm -hmm. And that opens his nose up and he gets really good alignment that way. Mm -hmm. and as soon as we fix that alignment, she already went, wow, okay, that feels a little bit better. All right, handsome boy. Two weeks into it, Maria's a bit tired, but Noah's doing great. Very good, so over two ounces in just one, yeah. one side. Another successful house call with another baby off to a healthy start. And there are so many reasons to breastfeed your child. Breastfed babies have a lower rate of infections, and new studies also show that they may have fewer behavioral problems, so an added incentive. Good stuff. And here are some more facts about breastfeeding. Over 90% of moms worldwide are breastfeeding their children. Breast size doesn't matter. I know sometimes people think that when it comes to breastfeeding. Studies show breastfeeding reduces the risk of breast and ovarian cancer. And financially, breastfeeding also saves the family budget hundreds of dollars. That's so true because formula can be expensive and it, it is wonderful to know that there are resources available like a lactation consultant exactly. to come and assist moms because sometimes uh, you do need a little bit of help to get through that process. Well let's check back in with Justin Willis in Studio B. Justin. Well guys we've got a couple of lactation consultants here with us as well so I mean if you've still got more questions uh, hopefully we can answer a couple of those for you but uh, uh, let's just kind of start off with um, uh, the benefits uh, of breastfeeding and uh, we've got Julie Casillas here that's going to tell us a little bit more about the benefits. I know there are a lot of parents out there with questions about why they should or why they shouldn't. Yeah, they really should. There's lots of benefits to the baby, there's benefits to the mom, benefits to the family, the community. It's healthier for the baby, they get sick less often, less allergies, less asthma, showed signs of less obesity. For the mom, she has less chance of breast cancer, Losing that pre-pregnant, the pregnancy weight that she's gained, hopefully she'll lose that quicker. For the family, it's really important. Like they were saying in the piece, it's not, it costs you nothing. So it's nice and cheap. Nothing to throw away in the trash. It's always ready. It's free. It's ready to go. All right. And uh, we got Tess Johnson as well. And Tess, I know some parents have uh, concerns about whether or not their baby is getting enough milk. How do they tell? Well, a lot of times we begin with just how the baby's acting. If they're feeling and looking satisfied, oftentimes they are. Um, another thing we look at would be if they're wet and dirty diapers or showing signs that they're getting a nice excess of milk or enough to keep them going. And ultimately, it's all about the weight gains. So we expect in the very beginning for the baby to lose a little bit of weight, but very quickly they turn that around with breast milk and um, they should start to regain that, that weight very quickly and um, we can monitor that very easily. Excellent. All right, Tess, Julie, thank you so much for your time tonight. And uh, we've got more here from Studio B coming up later on. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Justin. Well, of course, we all know that the Central Valley uh, does have poor air quality at times. Unfortunately, that's true. When we come back, how many kids here at home are battling asthma every day?
Odds are you or someone you know suffers from asthma. It is a huge problem in Fresno County and it strikes one in three kids. In our next report, we look at asthma and why it's important to treat it earlier rather than later in life. Air quality, while well, it's getting a little worse. So we see the reports, we know the facts. Central Valley air isn't always best and that impacts even the tiniest among us. We have started I would say four to six months. Really? Mm -hmm. Asthma strikes 75,000 children in Fresno County, one in three, even babies. Dr. Maurice Joseph of Community Hospital's Early Childhood Asthma Program sees many of them. Okay, Brian, take deep, deep breaths. Look here, Brian, like this. Breathe, breathe. Good job. It's a problem, she says, that often goes undiagnosed and underrecognized. That's one of the biggest problems we have, diagnosing them early and putting them on the right treatment earlier on. And as with most conditions, an early diagnosis is best. A normal lung should look like this. Fresno allergist Dr. A.M. Aminian showed us a model of how asthma constricts the bronchial tubes. So you compare the two, so it's supposed to be this, and then it becomes but it just turns out to be this. And that long-term strain on a child's lungs can cause permanent damage. Children, they need oxygen to grow for their normal physiology. If you don't provide enough oxygen to the body, the children's growth is gonna be uh, affected. Seven-year-old Brian Alonzo Garcia routinely visits Community Hospital's asthma clinic. This machine analyzes the nitric oxide in his exhaled air. A high level indicates inflammation. There you go, 10. That's, that's, he's very well controlled. What we're going to do is we're going to take, like, two puffs. Brian uses an inhaler to keep his asthma in check. Dr. Joseph says ongoing treatment is often a challenge for kids and parents. Education is a big component of asthma management. I mean, you may, you may give the best medicine in the world, but what, what use if they don't take it? It's not known why asthma strikes some and not others. Doctors say there's a genetic component. It often runs in families. Babies prone to viral infections or who've had RSV are at high risk. And there's the environment. Starting from air pollution to pollens, allergens, you know, um, environmental tobacco smoke. Managing asthma is key and avoiding triggers when possible so young lungs still developing can perform at their best. So what are some of the signs of asthma? Here's a look at a few of the most common symptoms. Tightness in the chest, coughing, shortness of breath, and wheezing. It's also important to note asthma symptoms often happen at night or during exercise, but they can actually occur at any time. And here are some other facts. Over 300 million people worldwide are living with asthma. And do you know which country has the highest rate of asthma? That would be Scotland. Hmm. Although Fresno County does have a, a, it's a serious issue in our area and impacts not just kids, adults as well, but primarily for kids, it's, it's a huge problem. Well, and you feel, you feel bad, more badly, I guess, for the little ones because they kind of sometimes can't communicate what's happening. Right, so not even understand right. what's going on with Make them. Make sure you, you're tuned in to know that. That's right. As we continue with tonight's Family Focus Special, we want your input on what future topics you'd like us to tackle next. If it matters to you, then it matters to us. Head to our website, kc24.com, click on the Family Focus icon, and please take time to complete a quick survey on the other topics related to your children and families that you would like to see in future Family Focus segments. We'll be right back.